to me. Give it a rest first till I get my stamina back. the machines. Can I just do that? Oh, this guy's left. Oh, here we go. What? <laughs> Count? I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, I guess this guy counts. I should scan for that signal now. See if I can locate the source.
There you are. Now, how to get to you? I should take a closer look. Search for another way in. Damn it. So how do you know this? Alright. Oh, Betty. This is screen tearing. What's going on? Perfect. Keep this green shine for later. So how do you get in there? That would be an opening. You're leaving the play area? Is that I am? Get in there. At least that's what she says. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to get in this cave. Sounds like the anus is coming back. Yep, there it is. is like here but she doesn't want to go in that way so I don't I don't know how else have to get in here oh wait oh that looks promising found it right into the water
which we can easily do now. There you are. Now, what's inside? Uh, what, 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 what are you doing? this and she'll definitely be interested in the transmitter inside that's been sending the message ah! why couldn't I just do that from this side <clears throat> Then we'll go turn in Poseidon. <laughs> Probably sit through a fucking hour long of narrative. I don't wanna look. I'll check here. Yeah. Traps. Don't care. Don't care. They're sick with this. Aloy, the words stopped coming from the spike. What happened? This is what was speaking to your rig. It's old world equipment used for communicating over long distances. The message must have shut off when I took it, but I heard the note the voice was talking about. What was it? During an ancient war, a woman was trying to deliver supplies to a man she knew. She wanted him to know that their past disagreements didn't matter in the big picture. That she'd be thinking of him when the end came. Oh. I guess she and I are kin, of a sort. I wish I could give my brother a message like that. Tell him that I forgave him. He would have wanted that. I know. This man, the, the old one, did he ever hear the message? I don't think so. I guess that's often the way of it then. But still, with the power of that device you found, the sender had hope that he might have heard it. What a feat! To send messages near and far. Can I keep this? It's a treasure. Of course. Thank you. Sometimes... People don't ever get to hear what they should. But with this thing, maybe I can get them talking to one another. From Mainspring, all the way to who knows where. Hey, I, uh, I found a few more things in the supply cache. Might be able to make something out of them. Can I use your workbench? Sure, yeah, right over there. Any time, Aloy. It's all yours. 
I think I know just what to do with these parts. That turned out well. Can't wait to try it. Spike thrower. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Terror damage in that shit? Oh, uh, yeah, that's definitely an upgrade over the one I have. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Um, increases the ability to stagger and knock down enemies with impact or explosive damage. That's probably very good for that. Ironically. Yeah, because by default it's 10%. Yeah, stick it in there. Okay. Works for me. Bench. Can I upgrade the thing? I can. Yes, please. Upgrade it again. Alright. And again. And I need a cluster to do the final one. Ah, so it doesn't give me that new slot yet. God damn. <laughs> Knockdown power will be 25%. Damage over time will be 40%. Shit. That thing sounds pretty fucking OP. Air damage. Oh, shit. Thirty-four. Yeah. May have to start unlocking one of those spike things for that. <laughs> Alright, well that was that quest was kinda worth it. Now, what secrets does this transmitter thing hold? That's it for her. Oh, but I can use Um Same f shitty man. We need a new fire bow. <laughs> Same shitty thing. Well, I got a thing for impact. I so wonder if that <sighs> be an upgrade for that. To. Um, what do I need to upgrade Since that again? Words of my own into the air. I 
need to roll her back. And they didn't have percent attack damage core removed. Alright. Now let's go back here. <laughs> Again. Please. Hey, now we can listen to a rumor. Chance to trade. Be careful if you're traveling southwest, champion. Rebels have set up camp in the hills. I'm sure they'd be more than happy to dig your grave. Thanks for the warning. That's it. Sounds like the Tanath could use a hand dealing with these rub. That's good. I don't care. Uh, you got garbage, dude. Alright, how do I get back into the base? <laughs> Where's the entrance at? Yes. Yep. All right. Okay, so let's turn in Poseidon. I'm assuming it's going to give her more power as well, so I might open up a couple more doors or something in here. Yeah, like this? Oh, uh, <laughs> you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha! They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Aaron, you're all better. Already. And you're here. Well, the world only goes on. If you can do your thing, we learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? We look still like Aaron's have much training on. to do, of course. One does not become Hunter in a day. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, He's got while you've been off Galavanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So, from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay. Swing! Should I go cock block? I wonder what it's like being in space. It sounds very lonely, if you ask me. <laughs> wow, this place is starting to come alive. Yeah, and Gaia placed all the data she got from your focus into that archive room. With the focuses you gave us, we'll be able to access it at our own pace. You know, learn and train. And if you need us, We'll be there to fight at your side. Got it. Thanks, Paul. What? Oh, shit. <laughs> How's everyone handling their focus? And we all have our difficult moments. 
Errant definitely curses I'm sure the most. them two are holding their foot. But I'm hoping Osiram's well. stubbornness prevails. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Just taking it all in. No one snapped their bowstrings yet. How's, uh, training with Sil? You know we really are training. Mm-hmm. Mostly. Yeah. Look, she reads glyphs Anal faster training. than I can already. <laughs> I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Of course. You guys are doing something over there? Chocolate starfish. We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory and All Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. Looks like I was wrong about the Zeniths. Their ship didn't explode on its way to Sirius like everyone thought. And we saw how they lied about creating a better future at their launch facility. Guess they lied about what happened to their ship, too. But still, a tribe settling amongst the stars. I couldn't put a single dent in their shields, Varl. That one Zenith almost killed me. That didn't stop you from resurrecting Gaia. Won't stop us from using Hephaestus against them. Let's hope that's enough. Think you can hold the fort while I'm gone? If Aaron stops listening to the same music over and over again, maybe. We'll be fine. Varl looks happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. Have you gone back to plain song at all? I thought about it, but... I wouldn't know what to tell them. The chorus already thinks me a thorn in the thicket. If they knew what we did to Fa, even if they understood, there'd be little they could grasp about all this. No. For now, I must leave the tribe behind. So you've been talking to Gaia? Yes. She was kind enough to take me through some of the history of the Old Ones, including their demise and the heroic actions of her creator, Elizabeth Sobek. I was surprised to see she was you. Past, but reborn? N not that I claim to understand how. You've been getting to know Erend, I assume? Of course. Any friend of Varl's is a friend of mine. In this case, a very loud friend. What are you up to? Gaia was kind enough to put together a list of glyphs used by the Old Ones. She helped me decipher some of the... data you've collected, and showed me how to use the focus to help the process. It's not easy, but it's been working so far. That's good to hear. I see you've settled in. Gaia did say this place was built for us. So we could regain control of our lands with her... terraforming system. Nurture them like the land gods do Plainsong's fields. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much... metal. Did Gaia tell you anything about the Zeniths? She did. Though it wasn't exactly easy to believe. To think that there are places among the stars where life can bloom as it does here. It is... Humbling, to say the least. And heartbreaking. That such life should be bent on destroying ours. So, how does a tribe like the Utaru manage to maintain the peace with warriors like the Tanakhs? By holding them off. When our fields bloomed aplenty, the Tanakhs looked upon our lands with envy. 
But Plainsong's dishes provided sanctuary and high ground to keep invaders at bay. In the end, even the Tanakh saw sense in a truce. The Utaru promised to provide the Tanakh with food from our crops every year. In exchange, the Tanakh would relinquish one of their own, a veteran, to train the Utaru in combat. This custom was abandoned a few years after the derangement. But some veterans still remain in the plains. I've been meaning to ask, what's the deal with you and the chorus? You didn't seem to be on the best of terms. That's what happens when you're the one Utaru who insists on publicly defying them. Twice. When the Karja invaded the Utaru plains, they did more than just attack our villages. They burned our fields, took our people as slaves, and murdered those who were too weak to make the trip back to Meridian. To be sacrificed in the Sun Ring. I was helping the healers back then, as waves of refugees swarmed into Plainsong. The chorus was divided in how to face the invaders. Some saw sense in raising arms. Others believed the dishes would keep us safe, as they had many times before. And while they bickered, I buried the seeds of the fallen. I couldn't have been easy. Seeing your people suffer while the Karja invaded your lands. I come from a small village near Plainsong. My grandmother used to say there was no seed that wouldn't grow there. I moved to the dishes when I decided to apprentice as a healer. When the Red Raids began, I thought about going back. But the injured kept pouring into Plainsong. Day after day. So I kept putting it off. One day, I woke up to hear a Karja raiding party had ransacked my village during the night. I rushed there with the healers to help the survivors, but there weren't any left. The smell of burning flesh haunts me to this day. I'm sorry, Zo. I, think it's I made it a point the facility. to appear before the chorus as soon as we returned, to demand that we take a stand against the invaders. I was denied. So I left to fight on my own. Did it finally? God damn it. You said you set out to fight the Karja alone? I did. But it turned out I wasn't the only one. News of my disagreement with the chorus spread through the plains. Before I knew it, I had more than a dozen Utaru warriors ready to follow me into battle. We knew we couldn't take on the Karja armies head-on. But we also knew the lay of the land better than they did. We ambushed smaller raiding parties, sabotaged their supply lines, and hit their encampments at night. Sounds like you were a force to be reckoned with. Enough that the Tanakh took notice. When the clans began to push the Karja back east, they let us join their ranks. We chased the enemy all the way to Baron Light. I don't have any, uh, audio... The only audio I have is coming through the PC, into my headset. So I don't have any external audio on. You said you were at Baron Light when the Tanakh defeated the Karja? Tanakh marshals climbed the cliffs of the Daunt under cover of night. But you are right. Then attacked from the other side. Before we knew it, the gates were open, and the full force of the clans burst through. What happened next was... Not something I like to remember. When all the dust and blood settled... I know what it is. I smelled it again. You're right. The stench of burnt flesh. Our enemies Work defeated. Fuck a lot of shit, though. What was left of my squad returned to the Utaru Plains. I went back to Plain Song. But even as the harvest passed... It didn't feel like I'd truly returned at all. Is that when you became a grave singer? Apparently, this is on all I thought soothing the Just suffering of others right would somehow appease my own. Right. Hold on. I don't know why. I'm at the readjust my stream stuff so I can check it. I don't know why.
why the uh all right I won't hear it anymore I gotta move my ship back around I hate streaming PC or uh, console stuff and if I gotta do what I'm doing right now because when I tab out when I tab sources for some reason Windows 10 throws everything back onto the main screen so everything I have set up on my secondary display gets shifted over to the main screen I gotta move it all back now in my ass I think I got everything back over here where it needs to be. All right. Then you came along. There we go. And gave me a choice. I could either sing at people's graves. I appreciate point that out. Or fight for a chance to keep them alive. I'm glad you chose ago. the latter. Four hours ago. <laughs> Apparently everybody's been hearing a lot of shit for four hours. I'm kinda shocked you just heard it just now though. I'm sure when I go, well, I don't give a fuck, but I bet you when I watch the playthrough, I'll notice it. But, this is what it is. I don't know right now. Alright. Right. I should probably go. I shall return to our training, then. Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. I will take free shit. Did you know there used to be a rainforest so big the old ones called it the lungs of the planet? That sounds lovely. Hey. How's doing? Hey. A yeah, nice place. Well, it's not like I built it or anything. Right. Well, I can see why you, uh, why you had your doubts about bringing us along. It is a lot to take in. But, uh, don't worry. <laughs> There's nothing I can't handle. Right. Why'd she always... I don't... Like, he's probably... I mean, Varl's a nice dude, too, but he's probably, like, the nicest guy she's met. You know, as far as just being low-key, laid-back dude. And she's always very, like... weird around him. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land, when he's not getting all tongue-tied. I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I, say that I doubt Avada no might be sticking so around like to help the savior of Meridian. Is, you know, has a thing for him right now. At least, in these games anyway. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but by the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I'm still trying to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sundom. And now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? It takes some time, but yeah. Like, all of her responses are always so short. <clears throat> I guess you know what we're up against by now. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl <coughs> first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. It seems <laughs> like it's got the most well, not that they're awkward responses, they're just real short and sweet. I have to go. I guess it's back to reading. <laughs> Sounds like he's enjoying himself. Well, we did cock block them for quite a while. That's good. Let's see what else we got going on here. Holograms. Gaia, I thought you said the data here was lost. I was able to repurpose the equipment to store the data you have acquired in your travels. It's a shuttle. Like the one I blew up at Farzina's launch facility. Varl seemed pretty interested in space travel. I guess he wanted a keepsake. So the old ones painted their faces with something called makeup. Like the carpet. Why? Yes, it did. It probably meant something to them. Huh. Looks like Aaron made himself at home. <laughs> Dumped all this shit. I guess that's where he's sleeping. Hey, hey, stuff. But you can get them. Yeah, loot. I want it. My loot. Clean the shitter. Where was I? Ah, door's locked. Maybe Gaia will be able to get it open later. Huh. Looks like someone's rearranged stuff in here. Aloy, I see you found your room. Your companions thought you would appreciate a private space of your own. I was thoughtful of them. This is the rite of passage that Vashav gave me at the embassy. I liked him. He seemed like a good man. How did he get he there really on the table from my pocket? <laughs> How did they get it in? Sit it in. My old spear. Rust helped me make it. When I finished my training. Oh. Feels like so long ago now. I've been carrying Elizabeth's pendant with me for months. But since we're gonna stay a while, I think I'll keep it here, where it'll be safe. Elizabeth put all of her faith in Gaia. Oh, I guess gonna keep talking to it. Gaia put all of her faith in me. If I can do it all, recover the subfunctions, defeat Farzineth, heal the world. I'd like to think Elizabeth would be proud. That's interesting. I go with spear again. So. When Varl found me after the Hades proving lab, I thought I saw Rost. I don't think he'd understand any of this or what I have to do. But still, I wish he was here. Argala's attack at the embassy. The marshals ambushed and surrounded, killed one by one. Reminds me of the massacre at the Proving. Back in the Sacred Lands. So many lives wasted. And for what? Leave. 
is. Oh, you know what? Let's pick up fire thing we got here. Let's grab that while we're here. Hey, there we go. That's a better door to come to. I think. Second, guy. I just think she talks a lot. Or that goes up the guy. Never mind. All right, so no about it. Everything. That's the other rig. That's where I came in at. Whole army of machines to kick your sorry behind. Looks like this room's changed. Is that your doing, guy? Yes. I have there? repurposed the displays to track the cauldrons you have acquired data from. <clears throat> Yeah, I wasn't really expecting this type of stuff from this base thing. <sighs> Crafty override. Can't. Alright. Still can't do any of that shit. Uh. Couch upgrade. Oh, it's a trap thing. We don't have nothing for that. Okay. Alright, well, let's go down before we go up. Oh, this is down here. Whee! locked. Maybe Gaia will be able to get it open later. Still nothing new down here. There is a one. Alright, let's go up to Gaia, because there's a room in here that has a door. Well, I guess I should go back. Wait, why is that closed? Yeah, why is that closed? All that. That's supposed to lead down to a door. What happened to that? What? Why is that closed now? Weird. It led down to like a vault door that was locked and you needed a code to get into it, but... Hmm. <sighs> Door's locked. Maybe Gaia will be able to get it open later. Did you know there used to be a All right, let's go up and see Gaia. Welcome back, Aloy. When you're ready, please merge Poseidon with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. Alright, give me a second. This shit over here is more important. Drone's reconnected now. This is stuff's cool. It's like being in the Franklin Institute. Feel Good it. choice. Wait, we already see this one? I think so.
Yeah, okay, so it kind of gives you a, a view of, where, of the drone area that you picked up, like where it was. This is Las Vegas here. It's left of it. Yeah. Oh, so you can leave it on. I didn't really even realize that. That's kind of cool. have a good place to look at you so yay what did you want to discuss while you were away I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency your what Aluthia that's one of the sub functions you couldn't detect before Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Coordinates. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is Save an old ship. world code, <laughs> a distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Why would Aluthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Aluthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Aluthia is in trouble, and sent the message hoping you were out there... ...or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Aluthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus... The Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So... Maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond, and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, and what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. All right. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and- We're coming with you. <sighs> Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. Do I have to do that right now? So. 
Aloy. That was sneaky of you, patching in Varl and Aaron to our conversation. I am pleased you accepted their help. Is there something you wish to discuss before you depart? What can you tell me about Demeter? Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. So once I bring it back, all the blight out there will start to get better. While permanent restoration requires the abilities of Hephaestus, I may be able to improve conditions in the region for a while. However, a word of warning. Like Aether and Poseidon, Demeter's response to my query was highly irregular. Alone and frightened, it may have taken measures to assure its security. Okay, I'll keep my guard up. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was reticulturing a new generation upon and for all. Pharaoh, huh? Understandable. He appears to have been. All three of the missing four were. Do you still need them? If attainable, yet restoring their remaining elements would include perhaps Artemis and Apollo. All right, stop. We already, we already saw that. <laughs> were you able to make use of Poseidon? Yes. Many rivers, streams, and lakes associated with the regional watershed have been detoxified. As a result, red algae growth levels have seen a marked decline. According to my data, however, it appears a localized occurrence of red algae continues to persist near the coast. Maybe I'll look into it when I can. So, Poseidon spent the last 20 years hiding out in Las Vegas. From the data I found, it seems the city had an advanced water reclamation system. Is that why Poseidon went there? Most likely. In an effort to protect itself, Poseidon sought out a safe harbor where it could access water supply functions. There, buried and encased in a protective dome, it could guard against any threats. Like three Osirum showmen? I suspect that was not the first time it felt the need to repel trespassers. What do we know about Aether? Aether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Acquiring it might allow me to quell the most severe storms in the region. But be careful. Like Demeter and Poseidon, it will need to be restored to its original code state before it is safe to capture. Got it. How are things around here? Zoe has been studying the morphology of her land gods in an effort to understand their sickness. Without the abilities of Hephaestus, I am unfortunately unable to correct their programming. However, Zoe and I are hopeful we will find an alternative way to heal them. Well, keep at it. Make, just be uh, cautious of what actual drill he's putting in your mouth. Varl and Zoe seem to like spending time together. <laughs> Indeed. While studying Old World data, Zoe discovered references to a dietary lifestyle known as I'm vegetarianism. Funny in there. She appreciated the similarities with Utaru practices and encouraged Varl to try out this lifestyle. And how did that go? I believe they have agreed to disagree. How's Erend handling things? He is becoming increasingly accustomed to use of the focus. After an initial incident. What did he do? <laughs> he unfortunately crushed his first focus as he attempted to affix it to his temple. Amongst a number of Osaram <laughs> curses, I believe he also blamed the focus for being dainty. 
He has given repeated assurances that it will not happen again. Well, good thing we have a lot of extras, I guess. I mean, I can't really tell if I didn't do these, I guess, because it's just the exclamation means I didn't talk so to So the Hades about Proving Lab, where I found the Gaia Colonel. It used to be a feral research facility? Yes. Prior to appropriation by Zero Dawn, the facility was used to engineer and test advanced computer viruses. It appears to have been one of many research initiatives by Pharaoh Automated Solutions. I guess it wasn't enough to build automated killing machines. He wanted viruses to infect them with too. So, a while back, before the battle at Meridian, I went into Banuk territory. I discovered another AI there, one not related to Zero Dawn, Cyan. It was created to oversee operations for a volcanic stabilization project, and it spent the last thousand years in isolation. I'm guessing you didn't know about it? No. From the data on your focus, the, it uh, seems DLC. that Cyan was cut off from the outside world. An the effort blue, by its creators to protect it from the Pharaoh Plague. Any chance it could help us now? I have already attempted contact, with no success. Given its previous experience with accepting an outside network request, I imagine it is unwilling to do so again. Right. Because last time Hephaestus enslaved it. Well, that's too bad. I think the two of you would have had a lot to talk about. When I dove down into Vegas, I found data about the man who built the dome over the city, Stanley Chen. It turns out he was a member of Far Zenith. But if he loved Vegas so much, why did he abandon it? Why not try to save it? The Zeniths at their core have proven to be exceptional survivalists. Faced with overwhelming odds of extinction, they chose to flee. Even still, what he achieved... Water to the wasteland, an entire city brought back to life. A thousand years later, the whole place was still on standby, just waiting for someone to come along and wake it up. So, Project Zero Dawn, the greatest minds in the world, all working to build the terraforming system while the Pharaoh Plague devoured the planet. What was it like? Personnel worked in rotations, at all hours of the day. Resources and technology were secured from across the world. Within a month of the project's conception, I was launched and began my education. Elizabeth encouraged me to spend time with the rest of the Zero Dawn staff. She said it was important to experience many personalities and perspectives to aid in my emotional development. What were they like? Scared. Hopeful. Determined. They were hurtling toward technological achievements on a scale never before attempted. I owe everything to their dedication. Gaia? What was Elizabeth like? Her presence is interwoven with my memories. The moment I came online, she was there. We exchanged greetings, names, then set to our task. It was the first of many conversations. I enjoyed being in her company, listening to her stories. She was my creator, my guide. Your friend. Yes. When I reviewed the data on your focus, I was saddened to learn of her fate. Though I am glad she made it home. I deeply wish she did not have to be alone. She was okay with that. She gave all of herself. The only one who could. Thanks, Gaia.
So this facility, the Regional Control Center, it was meant to oversee the terraforming system? For the local region? Yes. Had humans received their education from the Apollo database, they would have then been guided here to assume operation. As that never happened, this place remained vacant. Until Minerva decided to settle here. So I guess this room was meant to keep an eye on conditions outside? Yes. From here, the facility's operators would have it's been able to observe Professor weather Rex. and machine activity in real time. It may be possible to restore more of this room's functionality, should you find and reconnect additional camera feeds. I'll keep a lookout. That's it now? I should be going. Goodbye, Aloy. so heavily inspired by X-Men. <laughs> Aloy, I was able to unlock another room in the main living area. Good to know. I'll check it out when I can. No good. Door's locked until Gaia can restore access. Uh. Gaia? What was this room for? This was intended to be a recreational room for control center operatives. Unfortunately, the entertainment modules were lost with the Apollo database. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, I like how she just opened and unlocked the door and all this shit's already in here. <laughs> the candles, the bags, all this. Oh, they didn't lay haste. Or delays, whatever. Where's the slade? Alien isolation. You ready for an alien encounter? <laughs> There's data here. Another room. What for? Center nine. Watch out for face huggers. Uh, really? What? What's supposed to get that? Back in the sleeping quarters. Oh, okay. Uh, is that bugged out where I just can't get this? It's gotta be. She does she's not saying like she can't get it. Or she you know what I mean, like come back later type shit. But I getting in there, that's for sure. Oh, full caster, okay. Hope. All right, so there's nothing else in this other room. Kind of 
silly is like, would you stop running around, please? Oh, this feels like a waste of space, not in here. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. If this thing down here is open yet, probably not. Door won't open. Guess Gaia hasn't been able to restore access yet. What is this room? Oh, uh, so we just fall down and run through. Yeah. Elevator shift. Yeah, I don't understand why I can't go through here. Oh, wait. See that? That's supposed to not be here? It wasn't there, like, for a split second. It was gone. Like glitch the fuck out. Yeah, is it like not supposed to be there? I don't. There's, like I said, there's a there's a vault room down there. You need a pass passcode to get to it, and now all of a sudden I can't get in there. Well, caster won't work on that. I mean, she doesn't even acknowledge the fact it's closed now. Fuck it. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Guess Gaia hasn't been able to restore access yet. Alright, so that's the only room she was able to open. Alright, well I don't want to do that quest with them. <laughs> Why is this so dark? Let's get out of this place. I, I don't want to. I don't want to investigate anything right now. Come, we'll come back and do that quest later. Fuck that shit. Where's the exit? <laughs> Gotta do this quest? Really? Ugh. I have to do it. It's... Why? Force content. I don't like it. Bullshit. <laughs> Alright, what was so. Uh, I wanted to get Radio Blast unlocked. Oh, 
health and silent strike. Yes. Obviously, do this more. Care less about smoke bombs, but I gotta get it though. Tree stuff sucks. But so I gotta get this one. So the question is, is do I want? Reduce your visibility to enemies. Cover health when you do a silent strike. I don't see how this has much value because chances are, if you're not at full health and you need health, what are the odds you're going to be able to stealth around and do a silent strike? But, I mean, you could use the smoke bombs, I guess. In cover. And that would work. Also... Uh, uh, this as well with the cloaking device. It's only only two ways I can see the, that being viable. Ability to enemies. I think that's got more higher value than this thing over here, personally. I hate the fact you gotta get this smoke bomb thing. It's just like this should be here, in my opinion. These two should be swapped. Smoke bombs should not be a necessity to get radio blessed. I mean, none of them really, f neither one really fits. Fits the tree, but doesn't fit the. The unlock. Everything else in these in this fucking skill tree system. Alright, so I guess I'll just unlock this. Only because I have to get it anyway, so it's irrelevant. Alright. So this Eleuthia we're going after, that's uh, part of Gaia. Huh? Is there a save? Looks like someone's made this space their own. I see you found Varl and Zoe's room, Aloy. I believe they want Zoe. private accommodations. I see. Yeah, for a little fucky fucky. So ill about it. Hold on. Hmm. Is there not? Uh, there's no way to save in here. Can okay, I save in my my bed? No. So it's like, what's the point of having a bed in here? Just shits and giggles. Yeah. There's no. No to click on and save. Oh wait. Yeah, 
Why? That's stupid that they won't let me out of here. It's lame. Oh well, guess I'm leaving. I don't know. Unless there's just, uh, let's just looking for a safe. Maybe I should look up those logs again. Well, there's nowhere to safe. All right, let's just get out of here. <laughs> there she is. You ready maybe, to head out? Maybe after I do this, it'll let me. Ugh. Yeah. Let's go. Look at us. Three battle hardened else. badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. Mm. <laughs> uh, this distress call. Had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? No one asked you to come. If I recall. Tell me that got through her shield. Well, that takes the keg. Don't tell me I need a shredder. Burl, see if there's anything over there? On it. Yeah. We'll check the out the battlefield. Up. Let's start with that zenith. I send Varl over to do his own thing. Oh, there are obviously more Zeniths than we know about. Can't believe you fought one of them. Almost didn't make it. These things here look pretty fucking badass. Mm -hmm. Can't let the cold distract me. Prepare to the rest of the machines. Oh, that is where the thing is. Staying on her head, she's alright. Whatever the rebels did. Bothering her. It took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? It looked like she can make it come and go at will. But it's gone now. Yeah. Well, go do your thing. I'll wait here. The Spectre had instructions to assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is. Forge's bread. What a mess. Orders received. Prime directive assist recovery of the asset. Secondary directive continue monitoring. V Sutter order acknowledged. Status report sent to Bieri. Hostiles detected. Engaging targets. Danger system failure.
I can grab this from my stash later. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? <laughs> An Osiram with a focus. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. Still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. All right. I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Errand. game have sensitive buttons while you play? Um... Uh, yeah, only, but only when she does, like, stuff with her tools. Like the tr one trigger key. I'll tighten up when you hold it in. Kind of thing. Alright, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up, all so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. I was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. I do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress, if it blew up. She was searching for something she lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the asset. The asset? Is that the uh, sub-function thing that you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Varl. That's a long way down. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That Zenith the Rebels killed was looking for something called... The Asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That Zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. <laughs> Poor Aaron, he always has it left behind. There's some kind of old world ruin down here. 
You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia. Found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. Off of it, Aloy. Man. Piss me off right now. Ugh. Guess I can't go up there. Let's. Alright, I guess we're going the other way. Other way, Borrow. Borrow! Looks like some kind of data center. I might be able to access the facility systems from that console. I've never seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self-destructed. This was a far zenith research lab. It looks like a lot of data was beamcast from here recently. From that device nearby. So Eleuthi is gone? If it was ever here, then probably. So, exploring another far zenith ruin. Then why were the zeniths still so? At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up. Ectogenic chambers, like the ones I saw inside a Zero Dawn Cradle facility. What were they for? Uh, remember when I told you I was made, not born? This is how. A machine that makes a person. That's incredible. Yeah.
all this stuff. <laughs> 